Anyways, it's Middle Age Gamer. We're playing Train Simulator 2016, and we're going to be doing... I'm going to mispronounce it. I already know. <laughs> Mariah's Pass. Marisa's Pass. I don't know. One of those two. Cold Meat Career Scenario using the BNSF ES44DC. About 110 minutes long. And it says, a meat packing plant needs some refrigeration cars. Drive the early morning shift to deliver them from Essex to Browning. Sounds easy, right? Anyways, let's go ahead and get into it since we need to get this going. I'm doing, I'm doing good step by step. How you doing, man? Lights on, let's get the brake off and get moving. Put a little bit of sand down just in case. Make sure everything's set properly. Which I believe it is. There it goes. Fortunately, uh, train simulator is not the most realistic on taking off and stopping. Ooh, I got the step lights on. Like it. It's like an early morning, as you can see. Hopefully, it gets a little bit brighter as the day goes on. The frame rate looks really good. It's positive. Let's turn that cab light back off. We need it right now. You guys can see the beautiful mountains and scenery here in a little bit. Oh man, step by step, I don't know. I was up for... Jesus, weren't you there the whole time? I thought you were there the whole time, but... Um... It was a seven hour stream last night. Of nothing but Factorio. I thought it went pretty good though. It was fun. Got another train coming this way too. That maybe pretty long cargo train by the looks of it. I don't know if I'm going to regret doing this scenario for 110 minutes. That's almost two hours, isn't it? Just under it. RPMs down a little bit, still picking up a little bit of speed. Damn it, Dustin. Of course you would get on at the beginning of the scenario. <laughs> What's up, man? I'm missing Factorio already. I don't know why. You would think I'd hate that game by now. Oh, there you go, eight hours, step by step. <laughs> you asked a question, knew the answer to. Yeah, you were definitely there the whole time. I couldn't believe it. For better or worse, I don't have any alcohol except for what's left in this beer and the whiskey. I don't have any coke, so might have to make a uh, gas station run later today. We'll just pick up the speed a little bit, though. I don't know how easier or hard the timetables are. Thirty now. <laughs> Thinking about red bottles, green bottles. Oh, we haven't even got to the blue bottles yet. That's the whole fun part. 
the only thing I was thinking about was making a massive, uh, I think it was, what is it, not copper, but the other one, steel plates, just make a tons of steel plates and transport it by train to our main base, so we always have enough steel plates to build whatever we want. That's all I can think about doing, was expanding out to around an iron ore area, enclosing it, making a train to the main base. I don't know why that's what I want to do, though. Say CDB trying to do a blog while you're in Vegas. I don't know. Chelsea is uh, wasn't doing very good at the beginning. I guess they're doing pretty good lately, but. The weird part about it is I'm not getting Chelsea games every weekend like I, well, excuse me, like I was. And I think it's because they were doing so horrible on the table that they're not they're not even airing their games because they're all you know always um, airing the Leicester City games, Manchester City, and all that. So I haven't really been able to follow them, although they are playing like Newcastle or something like that, Southampton this weekend. I'll be able to watch that game, but. The games I've been able to watch lately are very, very limited compared to the last season. We get under 25 right here. I mean, that's why I'm playing trains right now, Dustin. Left me all alone so I can play Factorio. We'll definitely slow down though. to the uh, speed if I can. We're under 25 though, so everything's going good. Packing my meat in these boxes. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> we are transporting meat, right? Pretty sure we are. Just want to see how long the train is real quick, since we've got plenty of time. We've got two hours of this. Man, if Mourinho went to United, I'd be forever disappointed if that was the case. Who's going to be the uh, the head coach for Chelsea? That's the real question. You know they have that interim coach right now. He seems to be doing pretty good. Jesus, this train's still going. All right, let's see if we get a late penalty. Oh, no, I didn't get anything. Train's still going. Jesus. I guess I need to be careful on the braking bit, huh? It's the never-ending train, part one. I think I see the end down there, coming this way. This is the longest train by ever in the history of trains.
I wonder how come I didn't get any points after hitting the first go via. I usually get points per the via point you go by. Whatever. Just go with it. There you go. That's the train right there. Let me go and get back in cab. Jesus. Let's see what we have coming up here. Is that a red light? No, we have a green light, right? We're about to go up a major incline. And I'm hoping that's a green light. To the side track. We'll see though. I'm a little nervous about this right now. There we go, okay. So we are splitting off to the side track here. There we go, 200 points, we're on time so far. Good news. Jesus, definitely going up an incline now. One point eight percent. Where's Antonio from? Do you have any clue what country? Or who he's coaching or was coaching? Alright, we're at 100% and still losing speed a little bit. So I can get rid of that, take a little screenshot. Hopefully the frame rate's pretty good for you guys on your end. I'm trying to stream this in 1080p for the first time, so hopefully it doesn't look too bad. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get up. Lose the speed still. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or what's going on. Oh, Juventus. Went to manage Italy. Now he's out of the job. Huh, okay. I used to live in Vicenza, Italy, which is pretty close to where uh, Napoli played, I believe. In fact, when I went to London, I saw Chelsea play against Napoli when I was in London. I hope this train's going to make it. I don't know. We're already down to 17 miles per hour. I don't see what else I could be doing. Struggling. Hopefully, it'll just stop at like 15 miles per hour and keep going up the hill. Definitely burning some fuel. <laughs> Good luck with that. Wishing I had more beer right now.
good news is we're not going below 14, so. Let's look at our tassels. We've still got a whole 40 miles to go. It's going to take a long time at 14 miles per hour. The summit is in, looks like 13 miles. I guess it's downhill from there, maybe. I don't know. I've never done this full route, so I have no clue. by here in a second. Talking about you were drinking last night, right, CDB? Drinking some whiskey. Well, I kind of like going uphill. I don't have to do a whole lot. Just sit back and drink a little bit. I think going downhill is going to be a whole other story, though. Hey, Dusty, you still on here? If so, are you down to play some Factorio here in a little bit? After one, either messing this scenario up or two, completing the scenario. It's not bad to have a drink or two. The problem comes in when you have school or work in the morning and you start doing stuff like this all night for seven, eight hours straight. That's that's when you have a bad morning the next day. All right, so chugging along at 14.8 miles per hour. Let's see if we can do like a train by or something. I guess this will get it. I think it's just behind the hill right here. Let's watch it go by real quick. Do a couple of these since I got a while. <laughs> All right. All right, D. I'll yell at you as soon as I either fail this mission or complete it, one or the other. Is it wrong that I'm hoping I failed the mission? I'll start speeding at some point. Yeah. You can get uh, Maker's Mark pretty much in any bar. Even like dive bars typically have Maker's Mark. So you shouldn't have any issues with that. But is it gonna switch? There it goes. It's like, please do another train by. Here we go. How's everybody doing today? Step by steps on here. Who else we got? Step by step, high voltage. If you're on here chilling in the background, say what's up. Ghosting in the background. Yeah, the older you get, the harder or the worse the hangovers are too. 
that's my big problem. There's no more like recovering with an hour or two of waking up, just like a full day or a full day of hangover that hurts. Now, Bree Bree is uh, with his family right now, as far as I know. He might be joining later on some Factorio, although he didn't he didn't join last night, so I don't know. I'll hop up on. Uh, I'll get on Teamspeak after this and see what's up with him. Just went out as soon as I touch it, right? That's great. Okay, or don't come back on. There we go. I need to get some new headsets. These uh, Logitech wirelesses are pissing me off quite a bit lately. of thinking. I think that's why I like Factorio too, because you have to actually think about what you're doing. I mean, I like games like The Division, but it's just like mindless, completely mindless gaming, similar to like Farm Sim. And that's cool for a while, but every now and then, it's nice to be able to think. Man, this is one crazy summit though. That is for damn sure. Them doesn't really matter going uphill, does it? Can't even hit 15 miles per hour. Yeah, I feel you step by step. I used to do that all the time, too. Especially in the army, I'd go drink all night behind like, the gas station because I was too young to get in the bar. So we'd get a bunch of beers, drink behind the gas station, and take a taxi back on base. I would wake up at like 5 a.m., get two hours of sleep, run five miles, like it was nothing. No hangover, didn't feel like crap. The run was a little bit harder. I remember sweating a lot more. You could like literally smell the alcohol as you're sweating it out. But other than that, I didn't feel bad or anything. we go 15 miles an hour yes missions accomplished oh, I see the uh, the grades going down a little bit I have to actually pay attention now uh, you cannot see DB unless there is a um, a moderator on here, which I don't, I don't see a mod on right now. Dustin, why are you not a moderator in my room? I thought I, I thought I modded you a long time ago. But a mod has to allow you to post a link. But if you can find a mod, I'll allow it. I just don't see one in here. miles an hour. Woo -woo. Get it. Working our way through the mountains right now. I do like how everything is detailed and modeled in this particular route. Are you actually working on it right now? I'm kind of sad. I want to see you do it. 
you get a chance, Dustin or uh, High Voltage, look up the power plant issue that we're having. I feel like I didn't set it up properly. Like I need to separate the pumps out, separate the boilers out from the engines itself. Just me and Nightbot, huh? Well, Nightbot's too dumb to allow links right now. Yeah, high voltage is D. We call him Little D, though. <laughs> he calls himself Big D. Oh. I really feel like I'm going to jack this up going downhill. I just have that feeling though. Big D. Big D with the little D. Was it Brewery saying you're like 6'5 or something? Which is like completely wrong. I'm sure I've seen a picture of you on, on uh, Facebook before. Pretty cool, you can see the train behind us as we go around the corner. Visors when the sun comes out, which is never in this game. They need to make that where the sun comes up and it just blinds you until you put the blinders down. Or is that upgrade to Hotel Games, huh? Or is that upgrade? It's, like, it's not even on their list of upgrades at all. Yeah, I don't know, but for me, it's like, I think it's with anything, like when I play poker, it's a time thing. The long, or the less concentration I have, I should say. On short scenarios, I can be really, really focused for like 30 minutes, but this is going to be like an hour and a half, probably at least. So as time goes by, especially going downhill, I'm just going to be like, done, out mentally. I'm going to let the train just coast downhill. I'm hoping not, but we'll see. Yeah, six foot five. He's not six foot five, though. Don't let him lie to you. Yeah, so <laughs> we're not on the downhill part yet, but if you look at the task list, the summit's in 10 miles, so I think all after that's gonna be downhill. That's what makes me nervous. I don't mind going uphill like this. I could do this all day. Do it. Yeah, go to like um, the poker room in Bellagio is really big. Mandalay is pretty good. Has a decent poker room on the weekends. And uh, the Hard Rock has a really, really good poker room, but everybody there is just an idiot. It's all a bunch of drunk young kids acting like dumbasses at the Hard Rock. But I did see Ron Jeremy last time I went to the Hard Rock. I think I had like tickets to, uh, free tickets I should say, to No Doubt. VIP passes and everything. Went to the Hard Rock and Ron Jeremy was walking around with some bimbo. I think he lives there though. I don't know if he lives, lives in the hotel, but he's always at the Hard Rock. For whatever reason. What is this? The radio station tower thing? It's kind of cool. Alright, got green lights, it's good. About to go through this long. These things remind me of like the uh, Gran Turismo, where you're going along inside the mountain on that one curve. It's like I'm playing Gran Turismo right now. Oh, yeah. See, my problem on the German routes is I drive it. I don't put it in autopilot or any of that. I haven't figured that one out yet. 
looks at Sticky. No, I did not shake his hand. That's one ugly dude. I don't usually judge guys, but Ron Jeremy's an ugly bastard. Not even a gigantic penis should get him the bimbos he gets. Damn, we got nine people in here and only three people are talking. Whoever's ghost in the background needs to say what's up. Don't make me, don't make me call you out. I can't see you, but I can definitely find out who you are. Or you can just continue ghosting in the background. I'm totally okay with that. I do that all the time. I don't talk when I watch people on Twitch. I'm just sitting in the background watching. He definitely did not age well at all. <laughs> Does it actually stop at the uh, stations and unload load passengers as well? If so, I need to do some more German routes if that's the case. Hate being stuck in the interior too long. Watch the train wind around a little bit, it's kind of cool. Summit is eight and a half. I like how it builds you up, like, let's let you go through an hour of easy train driving. And then you can go downhill the rest of the way. Nice. I'll have to look out for that scenario then. Barely get the whole train in there. I kind of want to take a picture of that. There you go. If this ever gets to YouTube, if I actually beat it, that is the screenshot picture. Even though I typically use real pictures for trains, but uh, I'll probably use that one. It looks good. simulate like boulders being on the track with workers having to do that. In fact, when I went from Seattle to Vancouver last time, a boulder fell on the track. And we had to literally wait for the construction crews to remove the boulder before continuing on. It took them like 30 minutes. Luckily, they were right by where it happened. Otherwise, we could have been stuck there for two or three hours. It says one mile to Blacktail, Maine. And it says the summit's still another eight miles or so away. Let's see what happens.
Nice. I think it was at the Vidora Hotel. Is that what you're talking about? The new one? Or the, the black looking one? So I heard that's pretty nice, but the gambling sucks there. But the rooms, everything's like automated in the rooms. Like for the windows, the blinds, and all that. Everything's on the uh, remote control and automated, which is pretty cool. Alright, step by step. I'm probably gonna head to the gas station after this, too, so I don't blame you. Alright, three quarters of a mile to Blacktail, Maine. Hopefully, we'll get some more points off of that. What is that? What is that? Oh. Looks like it was gonna be a tunnel at some point. going through these miles very quickly. <laughs> That's why this scenario takes 110 minutes. Yeah, that's a good idea. Any any Gordon Ramsay restaurant is typically top of the line and pretty good. Last one, ooh, is the sun coming up? The sun's actually coming up for once. to a uh, Gordon Ramsay restaurant in London. It was literally the best food I had the entire time I was in London. And the service was on point. It was like they came to your, your table on a set schedule, refilled your drink at a set limit, like 75%, they'd come fill it up back to 100%. It was pretty insane. Of course, it was also pricey as well, but definitely worth it. Staying on this line right here, moving forward. There we go. I can actually read signals now. Wow. It only took me like three years of playing train sim. See the train way back there. definitely starting to get brighter outside too, which is pretty cool. Steaks and burgers? I don't know, to be honest with you, when I go, I pretty much eat at all the restaurants inside Mandalay Bay. And they got tons of nice restaurants. I mean, literally, there's probably 10 four to five star restaurants. And each one has like a price fixed menu typically on a weekday. So you can eat there for like 30, 40 bucks and get a, a top class you know, dinner. can't remember any of the names. I know they got Red Square, so it's like a Russian restaurant, which is more like a, a themed restaurant. Uh, there's a steak place in there. There's La Fleur. It's pretty good. I mean, there's any, any restaurant inside Mandalay Bay is really, really good. But that may be slightly out of the way for you. There's going to be plenty of restaurants in the bigger hotels like MGM where you can eat too.
sad. My beer is almost out. My final beer. Whatever will I do without you by playing this game? I guess I can take shots. Doesn't really sound appetizing. Do I have old soda? Nope. Don't even have old soda. I was almost going to resort to pouring yesterday's soda in a glass and pouring whiskey in there. It's kind of sad, isn't it? Like a big U turn, huh? So, about six miles to go to the summit. And yeah, we're doing definitely just a kind of a big U around here. It's pretty epic looking, in my opinion. tell if the sun's getting higher or not. I guess it is probably slowly. So here's what I wish. I, I wish if you're in cab that this sun would just be like blinding you with the, some type of bloom effect or something to where you had to use the sun visors. Don't tell games if you're watching this out there requesting this in the next game. Culture shock. I speak English, so Las Vegas will not give you culture. Well, I don't know. If you've never been to Vegas, it could give you shock the first day or two. You're just gonna be kind of awe or in awe of everything. Everything is on, you know, so glamorous on the surface. I guess you should say. If you go down, if you go during the summertime, and you go to places like Mandalay Bay, there's just girls for days and days walking around in bathing suits and short black dresses at night, it's insane. Like, everybody goes there, just to party, pretty much. That's kind of a cool, I like those logs in there. Transport logs. I'm jealous right now. Also, I have this cold meat. Still doing 14 miles an hour. My ETA actually looks, as of right now at least, about a minute ahead compared to the arrival time, so I'm assuming I'm doing okay. Hopefully. Still got a long, long way to go. Still over 30 miles to go. Too. June's like the perfect time to go. Alright, say bye bye to my beer. Ooh. Jesus. Was Coke and whiskey still good from last night? It's a scary thought.
Hey, we're doing 16 miles per hour now. This is going to go into Glacier Park. <laughs> I'm looking out for it, man. If I see a video of you with a bunch of American girls just hanging out, I will literally fly out to you and be like, where are these girls at? Just don't tell them I drive trains on the computer, because that's, that's a no-go. Figured that out pretty quick. What's up, girl? I drive trains on the internet. What do you do? Anyways, the stream looks or the stream looks to be going okay. I'm doing 1080p at 60 frames a second, so I mean I haven't heard any complaints from you guys. It's a good sign. How many people we got? We got seven, eight people in here now. Not bad. We'll take that. For a Sunday night. it man 100 percent actually doing 17 miles an hour now though which is good are you talking about pulling them girls like a pull these wagons i get what you're saying yeah i'm too old to pull <laughs> i guess i could depending where i go but see i don't work out Definitely not fat by any means, but I'm not in shape either. My days of the army and five mile run, five mile runs in the morning are at least ten years behind me, and I've had uh, ten years of drinking and city miles on me. And as you can see, I'm still beautiful. That's a promise, CDB. You get you get video of you and girls that you're hanging out with them. I'm, I'll try to fly out there. Don't even have a shot glass up here or anything. Oh Jesus! I wish we could figure out our elevation, like where we started at, where we're at right now. So we're definitely up there in the mountains at, at this point. Get nervous. Four miles to go to the summit. Exterior views, why I still can. <laughs> Whatever, D. You've been watching me for how long? For how many hours? You gotta love this face. Come on, man. Of course, I need to shave. Jesus. Ugh.
I feel like Twitch needs to give me my, mo my own emoji. It just seems to say choo-choo. As we be running trains. Right, Dustin? You know what I'm talking about. Speaking of that, I need to put the, uh, the, the MA on my stream for future purposes. So we talk about a lot of shit. Oh yeah, we got tilted kilts and hooters all over San Antonio. We even got like a Mexican version of tilted kilt, which is pretty good actually. I have no clue what the name is, but it's across town. I've only been there once. And the cool thing about the Mexican version of tilted kilt is they only play soccer games. Like it's soccer from around the world, whether it's La Liga, uh, Bundesliga, or any of that. Do you like the active sky? Here we go, we got some cloud moving, we got the sun coming out. What more could you guys want? All right, about three and a half miles to go to the summit. And then I guess my work will begin at that point, unfortunately. I was really, really liking the scenario up until now. I think what I'll do is I'll probably save it at the top, just in case, because I don't want to waste this entire trip. And I rarely, rarely, in fact, I never really saved up until like a month or two ago in this game, if I if I felt a scenario like 50 minutes into, I would just straight up redo it. I really want to get a video on YouTube at some point. About three miles to go. I'm only running this game on high graphics right now. I just ordered another 32 gigabytes of RAM for my gameplay PC of DDR4. So once I get that in, I'll try to bump it up to the highest setting and see what it looks like as far as frame rate goes. Yeah, I'm in San Antonio. Hey, Dustin, that's anywhere, man. The girls at Hooters are really never like, okay, Hooters is like a, um, it's like smoking marijuana before you start doing meth and stuff. Hooters is that, is like the marijuana to the strip club and escorting, which would be the meth, coke, and whatever you want to call it. So the girls that work at Hooters and Tilted Kill are really never that cute. You know, typically they have decent bodies, but the faces, not so much. Now, every now and then there will be a hot girl, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying all Hooters girls are ugly or all Tilted Kilt girls are ugly, but they're definitely not pretty. Now, if you're a 50 year old guy going into Hooters and Tilted Kilt, then they're all beautiful. Don't get me wrong. But if you're 19, 20, you can get girls, it's just a lot. They're not the brightest kids in the world either. What up, James? How's it going, man? Welcome to the stream again. Playing some choo-choos this time around. And I'll be playing some Factoria with Dustin in a little bit as well. High voltage is Dustin. V. Hey, also, if you're going to Vegas, there is a, uh, a show in the Luxor. It's like, I don't know what they call it, like a showgirl show. 
but it has some comedy in there. Honestly, I was really hesitant to go. It's like 20 bucks, 30 bucks. And it's right after Carrot Top goes on. Go to that show at the Luxor in Vegas. It's actually, you get the B team as far as the girls. The girls in the picture on the billboard, not the girls in the show. You get the B team in the show, but it's hilarious. The comedian that that's in there and the girl that's hosting, it's, it, the whole show is pretty good for the cost. So remember that, go to the Luxor, go see the showgirls at the Luxor. It was voted number one showgirl, um, or dance, whatever you want to call it, in Vegas. All right, two and a quarter miles to go or so to the summit. And we're definitely still on time, or ahead of schedule, I should say. He's 70. He, <laughs> I think my dad's like 66. And he said he has not seen an ugly woman in 10 years. I, I believe I think once you get to that age, everything starts to look really good at that point. starting to regret that I picked the longest scenario right now. Not as long as Donner Pass by any means, but 110 minutes is a real long time. <laughs> yeah, I get your drift. Me and him would get along just fine. Alright, almost to the summit. I'll save it up here in just a minute. I had a beer right about now. Or some Coke and whiskey. You know it was crazy step by step? I don't know if you're still on here or not, but uh, oh, he went to go to the, the gas station, right? Wayne Taylor has a computer finally. He's back watching streams and on Facebook as well. I hadn't talked to Wayne Taylor in like six or nine months. Now he's back. We play that Eminem song when he comes back on the stream. Guess he's back. Let's see if he catches on or not. Yeah, there we go. 35 miles per hour at the summit coming up. I'm liking that. I feel like more than half of the scenario was going uphill. So on the task list, we have, let's see, 28 miles to go. I have no clue how many miles we've done so far, though. Maybe like 15, 20? hard to say. I'm 
James, I was drinking some like lemon shandy shock top. It's not bad actually. I'm out of Coke for the whiskey. I still have Maker's Mark, but I have to go to the gas station. So I'm gonna make a run to the gas station probably after this scenario, and then I'm gonna play some Factorio with a uh, high voltage, AKA little D, if he's still on when I get back to the gas station. Oh, fat tire, hell yeah. Don't like some brands like New Belgium and stuff have like a fat tire beer. I don't know what kind of, I don't know if it's an IPA or what type of uh, beer exactly it is, but I've seen like brands have fat tire as one of their bottles. Let me save it right now. It's F2. Yeah, here we go. Because we are definitely at the summit of this gigantic mountain. The I showed in that video of you shooting me out of the car racing game. Can't remember. It's probably too be asked if I spoke or seen. What are you saying, CDB? Confused. Video of you shooting me out of the car racing game. Car racing game. Twisted petrol. Are you talking to James? Or are you talking to me? Because I'm really confused. Alright, here we go. Summit right here. Should start picking up speed here pretty soon. I don't really see any crosswalks either. It's all track pretty much. Which is probably true to the real, the real uh, track in real life, the real route. This is what's scaring me right here is going downhill. I may, I may, I'm not promising this, but I may try to use a dynamic brake. But I will not make a promise on that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember you kind of, I think you asked me a bunch of times on YouTube, hey, shout me out. I was like, I'm definitely going to shout you out at some point. Yeah, I remember that. You've been commenting for a while, haven't you? It's always nice to hear from the regulars on YouTube, that's for sure. All right, we're picking up speed now. The speed limit is still 25 until the back end hits the 35 marker. So just got to be a little bit careful of that. And then we'll be heading downhill. For many, many, many miles. Starting to level off right now. And headed downhill coming up. Continental divide. out now. Getting to 25 miles per hour. Now 
now we have a runaway train at this point. He's like, why are you watching this guy drive trucks and trains? What the hell is your problem, kid? It's kind of weird because the people who watch me kind of run the gamut. I mean, there's older women and men that watch. There's actually a bunch of young kids that watch, too. Like, if I was 13, I don't think I'd be watching Train Simulator. I'd be watching what all the other kids watch, like uh, Minecraft or whatever you want to call it. But they're out there, man. There's definitely kids and full age range that watches my YouTube channels. All right, we're definitely going to make way better time now. Head downhill. We're not going too fast for this junction right here. We'll stay in the cab until I figure things out. So I'll definitely try my dynamic brake here in a little bit, instead of just using the train brake over and over again. If you guys have any tips for me, now's the time to let me know. Shot shots, hell yeah. subscribe to like four channels one being you <laughs> it's pretty rare that I subscribe to someone's channel all right so dynamic brakes definitely coming up sooner than later the floor to get the land speed record. <laughs> then I could play Factorio a lot sooner. That'd be cool. Alright, let me get it down to like 28 while I'm messing with this dynamic break. Just in case. I'm always a little nervous about using something I don't typically use. I have a feeling I'm going to start speeding at any point using this dynamic brake, I don't know why. Yeah, Factorio is pretty cool. I mean, the, the more involved you get, you can tell the more complicated things become. And you can see like the true value in playing that game. All right, that's keeping me at 34-ish right now. Hmm. I'm liking this dynamic brake thing I've never used. I 
don't think I need to go right at 35 miles per hour. I didn't use dynamic brake sooner. What's wrong with you guys? Someone should told me. Yeah, Dustin. I've played, I don't know, like 16 hours probably. Played seven or eight hours last night alone. And our base was a hundred times better than the one we built the day before. It's like the more you play, the more you learn. <coughs> Dynamic brake is definitely working pretty good. I like it. Yeah, it's definitely a long train. In fact, let's see if I can show you real quick. Do a quick train by, why not? You can see just how long the train is. You know, something I've been thinking about doing, there's a bunch of people that rail fan out there and take videos of trains going by. Has anybody done like go like drone footage of trains passing by, like get fairly close? I think it'd be pretty cool to do drone footage of the trains going by. And that way you can kind of go around the, the top and side of the train as it's going. It'd be pretty cool to see. Why well, am I not gaining speed? We're flattening out, I guess we're flattening out now. Luckily the speed's going up to 45 here shortly too, which is nice. Moss, I'm not sure. The Mega 12, it's it stuck like that. Like, watch. I'm sure there's a reason for it that someone else can answer, aka Dustin or CDB, but I have no clue, honestly. I'm like the one guy that's not a huge train fan, but likes Train Simulator, if that makes any sense. Alright CDB, take care man, appreciate it. I'm sure I'll see you in future comments on YouTube and everything else.
speed limit's going up to 45, almost there. going way better than what I originally thought. Partially thanks to the dynamic brake that millions of people have been telling me to use on YouTube, which I haven't been using. should be relatively quick. train by is where we're going. There we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful textured sky right there. It's awesome. ETA definitely looks good. We're definitely way ahead of schedule, which is a positive. There you go. That's the best thing I've heard yet. Little D. Dynamic brake is like cruise control for downhill. That cruise control that I've never used because I'm such a badass in train simulator. CDB just left, I think. Um, if you need the link to his YouTube, go to uh, go to myyoutubecom slash the middle age gamer, and I think you can click on friends or see who I'm subscribed to, and he should show up under there. Ooh, I'm about to get a. Uh... That's not good. I don't know if I want to say it right here. I guess I'll say it right there. I need to pump the brakes on. Like whoa. 
I just saw the uh, 30 mile per hour marker in there. Ooh, that scared me. Thought I was gonna lose the scenario right there. It's like, man, that's exactly what you get for talking all that crap. Good thing I caught that just in time. <laughs> Who needs brakes anyways? Yeah, Dustin said I should go for the lamp speed record. Just go straight down as quick as possible. I think he had some ulterior motives though. Just saying. time doing 45 though. We are only 16 miles away. So we'll be there in no time. Really the longest part of the scenario is like basically going uphill. Or up the mountain I should say. back up to 40 here pretty soon. see some businesses and houses down here too. There's really nothing up in the mountain at all whatsoever. I didn't see any roads crossing over the uh, the tracks or anything. Your pickup right here, Glacier Park. It's kind of cool. 
I see the Amtrak is probably on here as well. I don't think that's his name on uh, on YouTube. I know he has CDB in it, but I don't know if he has YouTube after it. Anyways, he'll be back on at some point. I'll ask him next time I see him. Or if I get a moment, I'll check my, uh, my YouTube channel if I get a second. All right, we'll be able to pick up to 40 miles per hour here as we come towards the end of our journey. Less than 15 miles to go. My ETA is only about a minute ahead, a minute and a half ahead. Slightly nervous about that, but I think we're okay. so far that's a good sign and we can pick it up to 100 you can see the full train the back engines are right there that's a little bridge we're going over going slightly uphill it looks like. Makes me nervous. Looks like there's a train on the tracks down there. Get inside. I don't know what the hell that is. slow down for that. I'm going to save it just in case. I don't see how we can go 40 on the cross track. I guess we could. Let's see what it says up here. Looks like we have a green light to go around them. It's a little nerve wracking though. We got this much weight barreling down on another train at 40 miles per hour. Let's see. Yeah, I agree with you. Double track looks wonky. What looks wonky is this right here. Me barreling down at this guy at 40 miles an hour or 30 miles an hour. I'm just hoping it doesn't change the uh, speed limit without telling me down to like 25. That's why I saved it right there just in case. Let's see. Looks like we should be able to go right through. Oh god. This does not look good. Speed reduction. Pretty smooth transition. Alright. I guess I was just paranoid. Not bad for being paranoid, people. Oh, we can actually get up to 50 coming up. Jesus. Max speed on the 75. speed as fast as possible, but we are on a 1% incline grade. There we go. There's the end of the other trip. 
train right there. football team. Uh, Chelsea's not doing so hot this year. Uh, they're going downhill. Doesn't matter. I mean, that's the whole point of sticking with one team. Do good and bad. I'll definitely stick with them. Or do you mean the one in San Antonio? That's a whole other story. I, mean, I can tell it, but be a fairly long story about that. Says we can get up to 50 miles per hour coming up. Eleven and a half miles to go. <laughs> My favorite player, uh, Hazard, is doing pretty good. As far as I know, I don't know. I haven't watched them on TV for the past couple weeks. They're so low on the table that they won't even play them on uh, Fox Soccer or Fox Sports in my region. I'd literally have to like go to the bar to watch the game, which I, mean, I could do, but I don't really feel like getting up at 6 a.m. to go to a bar. Pick up some major speed once we get over this little hump. San Antonio, yep. That's where I live, Dimas. ETA is definitely really, really good right now. A couple minutes ahead of the arrival time. Nice. You got family in town, or why were you in San Antonio? It's really weird to think about people vacationing in San Antonio. I guess you could go see like the Riverwalk, which is kind of cool, or the Pearl Brewery and stuff, but I don't really see San Antonio as a vacation spot myself, personally, but I've lived here for so long, so maybe it actually is, I don't know. I guess the, uh, the prices down here are pretty amazing compared to going to California or a different place. So that's the one positive. miles to go. We are hauling ass. Almost 50 miles per hour downhill. Nine miles to go now. We 
We've got plenty of time on the timetable to stop as well. In fact, we're going so fast, I don't even know if I should keep it up at 50 or not. With eight miles to go. Eh, why not? Keep it going. I can always hit the uh, the train brake or local brake if I need to. Oh yeah, the Alamo. <laughs> I would forget the Alamo. That's funny because I used to live right by the Alamo too. I'd ride my BMX down there every time, just watching tourists look at it. It's pretty cool to see, I guess, that little area downtown. It's, uh, I don't know. I just think uh, San Antonio is a little more hood than uh, most cities out there. Jensen Beach, where's that at? We spotted Robe, is that a city? Are we, are we passing Robe right now? Is that what that is? In real life, um, it would not be anything like the game, I'm sure of that. you're going downhill almost a percent 50 miles per hour it'd probably take a couple miles to stop properly without overheating the brakes that'd be my guess I don't know I'm not a train engineer I might be one day though I might just have to up and leave go to another country and drive trains for a living you never know might do it You know, AC6000 is uh, down in Houston driving the uh, trolley or the streetcars, whatever you call them, that are on the tracks in Houston. I'm thinking about going down there and visiting him. What's up, step by step? You missed me doing absolutely wonderful on the downhill section only because. I've been using the dynamic brake, which I never used before. So I want to thank everybody on YouTube that watches us down the road for uh, telling me to use dynamic brake since 2013 without me doing it. So we're on the last leg. There's nothing out here whatsoever. It looks like we're in the desert almost. Way, way ahead of schedule. Hauling ass. With six miles to go left in this scenario. Yeah, still the same scenario step by step. We're right at the end of it though. We're pretty close to the end. About five, six miles to go. We'll be playing some Factorio after this. So I'm assuming this is like the uh, the entire route. I don't know. I've got time to look at all that right now. But that's my guess. What is that, BSP? What up, man? How's it going? Good day, man. 
Welcome to the stream. Look at that. Look at the artifact back there in the sky. Love it. We got a blinking yellow light. Probably gonna keep the uh, dynamic brake on for a little bit. We don't need to go 50 miles per hour right now. We got beer and ice cream. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Alright. About four and a quarter miles to go to the end of the scenario. This has been a long 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 scenario but this will be up on youtube pretty soon so i definitely appreciate you guys commenting throughout the video made it go by much quicker i'm going to save it just in case too i don't want to jack it up in the last like 10 seconds the good part is i'm doing 1080p at 60 frames a second for the entire scenario too so i haven't heard any complaints about it not buffering properly. On top of that, I'm recording it on my computer in 1080p, so it should look pretty, pretty nice when I put it up on YouTube. I think the blinking yellow signal means there's a reduction in speed coming. Again, I'm not I'm not really great at signals, as everybody knows if, that's watched my YouTube videos. Like the German signaling just baffles my mind, even though I've somehow been been able to manage doing it. But All right, still gonna keep the dynamic brake on for the time being. I know a reduction in speed has to be coming up right around the corner. Let's see what this sign says. Thirty-five is coming up. So I'm definitely glad I left that on. now which is good and two and three quarters of a mile to go to our final stop ETA looks like it's good to have a schedule right now I've actually tamed the runaway train as I call it switches or anything. I 
ETA is creeping up too, which is making me nervous. One and a half miles to go. That's when I get all tangled up on my wheels and it's over. Are you saying I'm gonna mess this up? I feel like I need to speed up. My ETA is starting to creep up. It's making me kind of nervous. About one mile to go. Can I stop anywhere in here? Or do I have to go further? Do I need to go another mile? 2098. This is 2098. Go ahead and stop, see what happens. Hopefully it, it allows me to do it. If not, oh well, we'll figure it out. Usually when you have a final stop, you can stop anywhere in the red part or the orange part, whatever color it is. Hopefully this works out. This is one of the longest scenarios I've done. 110 minutes. Oh, nice. It's still there. Come on, please work. Please work. It looks like it's working. Yes, yes, thousand of a thousand. Well done. Oh, and look at that. It says treat yourself to a nice cold beer. Doesn't get any better than that. If you haven't had enough of the cold, that is. I feel like I should have got a uh, an achievement for that at least. Jesus Christ. There we go. So we're on the board with Antrac America, Big Dog, Scotty, Nil08. All got a thousand of a thousand. Shout out to Backwards and Spencer if you guys are on the stream or on YouTube as well in the future. This will all be going on YouTube. So there you go. So we're going to be switching over to uh, Factorio here in just a second. Dustin, are you still going to play or what? I'm going to get you up on uh, TeamSpeak as well right now if you are.